Yo guys, Features Gaming here, welcome back to another video and today we are back on Euro Truck Simulator 2 for another video on the trucking career. It has actually been quite a while since the last episode but today we are going to be taking a quick job because I have got something very cool to show you guys and then hopefully by the end of the stream or the video, not stream, we can hopefully get to £900,000. Now I just need to quickly set my game in at 60 because apparently i haven't done it yet so it is okay interesting my frame rate was saying otherwise let's just go ahead and enable that quickly right that's locking in at 60. that was so weird uh anyway we'll go on to the freight market and we'll do this and then root length going down so no root length going up my mistake oh my god i keep selecting the wrong one root length one yeah that's the weird thing with locking my game in at 60 my mouse was very like delayed so that is the quickest route we can find it is a two hour journey which i don't mind doing but that one earns in twenty one thousand pounds and i mean it is a long journey so this one might be the one to go for and i'm pretty sure even after this one we will be able to get the money that we need anyway and plus we're going to be earning um you know money from our drivers along the way offer expires in 51 minutes i believe we can get there before the 51 minutes is up but let me show you the cool thing i have installed are you ready i've got track ir installed so we can literally just look all across our cab by just moving my head as we've got track IR. I do apologize if the sound of the mic goes weird a little bit um, throughout the journey because I am moving my my head in real life to like look around the cab. So I do apologize if my voice goes a little bit Navigation weird at times. But let's go ahead and drive over to the, uh, to the depot. It's a nine minute drive. Turn right. I think we're good to go. Yeah, I do apologize if the shake or if the camera shakes a little bit. It is currently on my de on my on top of my monitor. Um which obviously shakes a little bit when I move the um you know when there's a lot of false feedback or a lot of shakiness on the desk. As it is quite loosely sat on my monitor because the track AR is kind of like pointed down at the moment. Like it's not pointed up. Because if I pointed it down, then my head wouldn't be all the three dots that are on the side of the track AR, which is what the track AR um, sensor needs to see. It won't pick it up. So I've had to have it quite turned up a little bit. Because before what I had, it was, it, it, it was on my wall. But if I put it on my wall now um my wall kind of like shakes a little bit like whenever there's like anything that's like pressed upon so with that being my desk as well it makes my desk or it, it, it makes the camera shake whenever i you know just hit my wall and it makes the camera you know shake like that or something like that like all the time which thank you for waiting which is annoying. But what I had before was I had something behind the track AR. Which kind of reduced the ride. vibrations. And I don't know if I can do something like that again. Like put something that will reduce the vibrations and put it like on my wall again. Navigation resumed. I'm not too sure but let's take the job and we'll go ahead and pick it up. I mean, at least the uh, camera isn't shaking too bad. Like that. Navigation resumed.
I just have to be quite uh what's the word like careful with my input right i'm gonna wait for the for this car to go because i'm gonna need to use up that second lane in order to pull out turn right in 50 meters turn right right we're on turn the road right. So even though I'm using Track AR for this episode, I don't think I will do it for future episodes. And the reason is, is because obviously when I'm, you know, driving, I kind of just want to chill out, you know. And when I'm using Track AR, I have to keep my head steady, you know, for the entirety of the journey. And, you know, the journeys I'm taking, you know, nowadays are like two to three hours IRL time. So... To keep my head steady for that amount of time. That's not going to be good. <laughs> when I'm doing, you know, like these jobs, like not very long journeys, then I think track A, I would be okay. But I can't keep my head still for like two to three hours long. Because if I like, you know, do this, like that's me leaning back on, you know, that, that, that's like, you know, leaning back on my chair. And I can't see where I'm going. Keep left. And if I'm doing a time lapse where I like lean back and then reset my track AR, it's going to look weird. So I kind of have to keep my head steady in one place. Another reason why as well is, I mean, it's not, pro it's not noticeable on the actual video, but... I'm a, I'm getting like a little bit of like a lag, like latency, you know, like issue, like where it's like the input is a little is is a little bit delayed, and to me it's a little bit weird. I don't know if it's well. I mean, there is no face cam on this video, so you won't be able to see when I'm doing it to them when the game shows me. I mean, it's all right, but when I was testing out Track AR on my other profiles, obviously when I play on my other profiles, I have the, um, you know, I have the game unlocked for FPS. It is a lot more sharper. And I don't know if it's to do with that. But, I mean, it does, you know, go back to the question, you know, if I reduce some of the graphic things and I can get a stable 120 FPS all the time and set that as my refresh rate, would that be better? It probably would be, yes, but I really like just driving in Euro Truck and, you know... Having everything max. Because I want 30 FPS to... Or 60 FPS to be my benchmark. So like... Yes, I would like to get over the 60 FPS. But I don't want the game to kind of like drop below 60. On a few games, it's probably alright. But for something like a relaxing game, like driving in Euro Truck or something like that. If I can get well I'd say over at least 40 maybe. I think below 40 is when you really start to notice it. Then that's alright for me. And because, you know, when I set my game above, you know, or set it's unlimited, obviously I can see more than 60. But because of the OBS recording thing, it will make the game stutter, so I have to have the game locked in at 60. Why are the speed limits so variable on this road? Jeez. I got like 31s, 43s, 37s.
So yeah, I'm not going to be using Track AR for every single Track and Career videos. The odd one here and there, you know, when we do like a fun little journey, then maybe. But that doesn't mean that I'll be making my Track AR, you know, I, like I won't be using it. I'll only be using it here and there. I will be using it for Bussum. Because obviously I, you know, the journeys in Bussum don't really take that long. So I might use it for bus sim videos, but I'm experiencing a bit of an issue with Bus Simulator 21 at the moment. Um, I'm in contact with the support team, with the tech support team, so hopefully I will be able to get it sorted soon. But when I spawn in a bus, the game's dropping to below 30 FPS, which is a little bit weird. And considering with my system, it should be able to go 60 all the time because, you know, you saw the video I did, you know, the previous bus sim video. The game wasn't dropping below 60 at all. And I had the game locked in at 60 and I was driving a bus. And it's not like bus sim is being weird at all. No, it isn't anything to do like that. When I launch the game, I get 2000 FPS <laughs> in the main menu. Get into the game, about 80 to 70 FPS. Spawn in a bus, 32 and 28. So it's... I have explained that to the, the, to the, uh, to the tech support team. I am currently waiting on a reply from them to see if they know what the issue is. And I messaged, you know, um, you know, one of my fans who play this game regularly. They said they don't really have any issues. So, yeah, I, it's, I, I, I don't know what the issue is at all. I'm wondering if it's just something very odd to do with the settings or, you know, if Bossim bought out a patch or something that wasn't meant to have a piece of code in that made the drop, game drop believe 60. I don't know. I don't know. I can achieve 60 on bus sim when driving a bus though, but I have to have the graphics on the lowest setting, which is annoying. So once I get that issue sorted out, I will be able to record another bus sim video. And because the bus sim journeys aren't that long and I do, you know, I do one of them, you know, a video and I talk all the way through. I think I'll be able to use Track AR in it. Another thing that I might use Track AR in is streams as well. I might bring them back for streams because obviously streaming is good. So may use it for streams as well because I don't rest on stream. Well, I mean I do, but time lapse or things like that for streams, you know. I don't, you, you, you can't do time lapse for streams, so if I rest in real life, then obviously that'll be in real time and it won't be, you know, so much of a shock when you see it in the time lapse. And just in general, you know, when I'm like watching a video or something as well, like I sometimes like look at my iPad, you know, when doing a journey. And if I look at my iPad, I'm like that. And you guys are probably going to be thinking, what the hell is he doing looking at his sat nav? No, that's literally me looking at my iPad in real life. And because I do that quite a lot, you know, you have arrived. it wouldn't make the, um, where the hell do I go in? I don't know. I think I'm supposed to go in here. But yeah, that is another reason why, uh, why I'm not doing, um, track IR in, uh, in videos. So yeah, streams. And busting videos, I'll use my track IR. Where the hell am I supposed to go? Oh, there. Jeez, that is tight. Actually, while we're here, we'll grab some fuel. Because <laughs> why not? Yeah, this is actually going to be a quite... Quite a park. Because we have to get it in there without hitting 
the shop the corner shop hmm this will be very interesting I'm gonna need to need, I'm gonna need to go a lot further than that. Right. Well over the using track AR. It should make this go well. Actually if I do this, there we go. Come on, get ready. Catch it there. How far are we to the uh, to the corner? There we good. Is that green? It is actually. We're way to the right, but I don't think I can get it any closer without completely messing it up. We'll get it inside. So I think the main issue is just trying to like line it up but then once you've got the lining up sorted then you're good to go so we'll bring it in a bit closer very slow actually i don't think it did it there we go look at that I mean, it's not the best park in the world, but yeah, that was actually quite a tricky park. I liked that. Excellent rating, no damage. And yeah, I did that as well without uh, hitting the walls as well. So there we go, 4,180 XP. So we got 896,000 pounds. Yes, it isn't 900,000, but I think we should be able to do uh, we should be able to get a brand new garage and five drivers with that money. Sorry, I just hit my desk. So, let's go to garage purchase, not garage manager. And... I might go for one in Scotland. Because... Yes, we could, you know, keep in England or, you know, go for someone like Wales. But I kind of want to get one in... Uh, in Scotland, and I'm kind of thinking this area. So, most of you people who watch these videos will know why I'm going here. One uh, one person in particular, but if you don't, we're going to get a garage in Edinburgh. We're going to go ahead and buy the garage £245,000 out of the bank. Let's go to driver manager now, and then recruitment agency, or recruitment agency is down at the bottom. And we will hire five drivers for that garage. So, once again, we're just going to hire the five best drivers we can get. Don't really care about that wage because they're going to be earning us money. And we have lots of money coming into the, to the company anyway. So, let's just keep on hiring these drivers. Putting them in Edinburgh. And final person. There you go. And now we need to give them trucks. So let's go to truck dealers. Uh, once again, we go with Scania's buy online, my fleet configurations, and we need to give them the left hand drive, no, the right hand drives, because they drive on the left hand side of the road. So we'll grab one of those. Well, I say one, we get we get five. I really wish you could like um select and then like when you click purchase it will say like okay so how many do you want well obviously i'm wanting to buy five but i have to do this all the time and then like if you put it to a garage you know you say 
So how many drivers do you want to give it to? You know, do you want to get to give it to your remaining drivers or do you want to give it to a few drivers? I really wish they'll bring out an update like that and not having to keep clicking purchase, select driver and things like that. But we've done all of that. If we go to the driver manager, we should be earning about a million dollars in seven days, which is absolutely crazy. But obviously those five, those five drivers haven't bought in any money yet. So hopefully in the next episode, we will do a really long job. And hopefully after that, we will start to see their potential in the company and we should be earning loads of money. But that is going to be it for today's video. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, then make sure you leave a like on the video. That would be awesome. And thank you very much. Also, make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. But until then, take care and peace out.